Hey, traders. Um, you know, I, we always talk about this topic of the importance of journaling your trades, but I'm just going to go over it again because on, um, Andrea in the room has just been on fire doing this. And I think it's a great example of how I want you guys doing that. And you know the reasons why, because every time we relive the trade, you're just doubling your experience. And so every time you watch somebody else's trade and when you see them actually, you walk through that chart, okay, did they do it right? Did they talk about the analysis? Did they talk about the trend? Okay, were they long, they short? Did they add here? Was there a BCI they missed? All that, you go through and you look at somebody else's trade, it's not the same as having, it's not the same as having risk on, but it's still, that's just more time in the chair, more experience, more repetition. And that's what, um, that's where all your progress is going to come from. So I just wanted to review real quick. Today, um, I put this on social, but I just think it's important to realize that you guys can make these same calls. When, when I said here that if we make a new highs, it'll be a nice trade. It was pretty easy call that you get above pi, we take out the TMS, the 200 is right at the market, it's right at that old high, really easy to go back to pi, no, no problem. That's an easy call to make, all right? It's a good call, but you, it's not because, oh, you know, I'm being aggressive, wanting to be, um, you know, trying to be overconfident or cocky in the market, saying, "Yeah, my price is going to go up another 50 pips from here." I'm just doing. I'm just doing exactly what the model says the probabilities are, right? So we came in here today, guys. Again, just to review, the first time up. This is the one thing I want to do better too on these next. Next time we have a big event like this, and we get the knee jerk reaction. We can short it <clears throat> like we did because there was higher time frame location. But I want us be I want us being more aggressive on the first pullback coming out, and then actually starting early on the long so we don't miss the first part of a continuation move like this. I think you guys I think you guys know what I mean. We probably I mean this is only one candle down, really. <clears throat> on this is only one candle down right so I, we were hoping for a little bit more of a retrace to, to come out of the short and I think from now on we does this happen twice now it happened on the euro too I think we're better off if we get that big move up shorting it and then if we don't get the initial reaction right back down and it goes sideways and then we gives us a slow pullback we just need to be more aggressive coming out of the short and then flipping and going long. I was thinking about that on the drive over here to the office. So I want to bring that to the forefront of everybody's awareness. Okay, so next time we, that's what we want to focus on the next time. And it does matter how fast some, a market will come back. Like if it, a lot of times you get the big move up and then it'll come whipping right back down. That's what you want to play for right after the numbers. If it just hangs out here and you get time to go by, right, this is a 15-minute chart, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and then it kind of slowly breaks. We were playing for the quick move up, quick move back. You know when you get the real whippy price action after like a Fed announcement or a lot of times after the ECB, it's up, back down, up, back down. We just went up. Sold pretty well, had a good average, never retraced, went sideways, just this orderly pullback. We need to be coming out sooner and then flipping and going long, of course, with the cycle, right? But at this point, it was pretty obvious. We decided, all right, you know what? Let's just get long here with the cycle. We're not going to mess around with this trend. Sure enough, moved to a new high, took profits. There was another down 15-minute cycle here. That was into a new high. I was taking profit there. This cycle turned up into a new high. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be adding there. Um, but once we cleared this high, guys, that was the call that we could go back to pi. All right. So the first call was the flip to get long. That's high level stuff. 
Then once you make a new high saying, you know what, this is going to probably go back to pi. And then you got to let that run, right? And then you want to stay you want to stay with your trailing methods. So I just wanted to highlight um, what Andrea did here. He um, he did a really good job. Uh, I put it in the put it on the trading floor. Um, so look, guys, nice day today. Some of you are having big gains. All right, but uh, we had a lot of core positions that came off well this morning, traded it around right after the Bank of England, sat on that pound yen trade. Um, it was a good day. But this is how I want you guys journaling your trades, like this. All right. I mean, nice. Uh, there was a couple things here. I want you guys telling me whether you're going long or short. Um, there was actually an ad here. This was, but this was great. Took more risk here. St risk was below the low. Took that risk off on the second lot. Um, this was a great buy right here. Good identification of the swing line. Perfect timing. That was that is exactly catching the right hand side of the uh, or the left hand side of the chart on a new uptrend. Right on the next part of the cycle up. I mean that is just. Beautiful. That's catching it right here. Great job there. Talked about maybe he took 80% of his risk off here. I thought that was a little bit much because he didn't have a 15-minute cycle cross. But also, this is another nice pullback where he did take a lot of off the table there. Then you can rebuy. If you sell well and it happens to be the high, I want you getting more aggressive on this move. And he, had, he noted that he bought 20% more of his max. Oh, that was in four, sorry, six. Um, five with 10% max is the line set up. Okay, so I want him getting more aggressive here. But this was good, took profit, new highs. Also trading with the cycle. This is high level trading, guys, this is perfect. And I love this trailing stop, out on the bands, out on the pivot. Break of the TMS, pivot, boom. That's one of the best trailing methods. So anyway, great job, Andrea. Really like it, man. That was a great. That's great work. So guys, listen. If you want to learn to trade like this, this is one of my newer traders, and he's just flying out of the gates. Um, listen, guys, go to JenkinsRM.com. JenkinsRM.com. Right here, JenkinsRM.com. Get started with a free trial. You can come into the room, see what we're all about, trade with us. Um, I'm always teaching in there. We're working on our craft. Um, just working on the process constantly. So that's how we that's how we stay sharp. That's how we make each other better. Um, that's the best way to learn. I mean, I wish I had somebody that would sit and trade with me every day. It would have saved me four years of struggle and lost money and emotional pain and everything else but anyway that's part of the reason why I started the firm um, chat room here just come on in it doesn't cost anything real easy to, to, to come into our chat room get involved with the community you can reach out to me love to have you and here's our services this is our full access team this is the team that we trade together every day um, and uh, here's our real-time alerts product. I have a trading course, an options course, and blog, etc. So, anyway, guys, look forward to seeing you. Some new faces in the room, and uh, come join us.